What's going on guys? It's your boy Pokemon Challenges. Welcome to another edition of Reddit Review. We haven't done one of those in a while and today we got some spicy posts to get into. We got some allegations, some spicy stuff. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more spicy drama videos like this one and most importantly high-level Nuzlocke content. So let's talk about it. So, there's been a little bit of heat, a little bit of a storm brewing. Did Pokemon Challenges cheat in his Nuzlocke? There seems to be very obvious evidence that there's some fishy stuff going on with my Emerald Kaizo save file. So let's talk about it. There's this post. I don't know if there was like an original post somewhere that someone made. Um, you can go read this. I'm not going to go over everything. But basically, I've looked into all of this and um, it is undoubtedly 100% true that the slowpoke that I caught in my Emerald Kaizo run had some weird sh going on and had its IVs changed. So, this is the damage that Slowpoke took from self-inflicted swagger damage. And people noticed this and then actually calculated that the damage that the Slowpoke with my IVs, because my IVs could obviously be retraced by the, all the calculations I did on stream and everything, and that this did not make sense. And that the stats that my Slowbro had would not inflict this this much self self damage. But you know who else knows about self inflicted damage and how to prevent it? Our friends over at Manscaped who sponsored today's video because they're working with the trademarked advanced skin safe technology to keep your balls safe when you're grooming them. That's right, it's a new year, it's a new you, and it's time to feel yourself, to feel nice, and to feel clean with Manscaped. Manscaped sells the Performance Package 4.0, which is your all in one head to toe grooming kit just for you. The core product is of course the Lawnmower 4.0. We've talked about it a couple times on this channel. It's a wonderful razor, keeps you clean, keeps you nice and shaven, keeps you safe from self-inflicted damage. It's completely waterproof, you can use it in your shower. It's got a little LED light, as you can see. And uh, if you don't want it going off randomly whenever uh, you're traveling with it, it's even got a travel safe lock feature. So if you tap this button three times, you can see it's locked. And now if you press it, nothing will happen. And then you simply press it three times again. It's unlocked and you can use it again, it's wonderful. But not only do you get that in the Performance Package 4.0, you also get this wonderful, beautiful travel bag by Manscaped. You get a beautiful pair of boxers, super comfortable, and you get their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and their Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray to keep yourself all nice and fresh and clean down there. It's wonderful. Head on over to manscaped.com slash Pokemon Challenges for a 20% discount on your Performance Package 4.0. Thank you so much for Manscaped for sponsoring today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Which, honestly, it's cool that someone figured that out. Holy sh**. The fact that you saw that, saw that damage and thought, hmm, there's something f***ed up going on that there. I actually uploaded the save file of my winning Emerald Kaizo run to my Discord, like any, you know, cheater would do. And it was, you can confirm by the way that a Pokemon stats are saved, I believe, that something about them was changed. So this is undoubtedly true. Something weird happened with these slow bros IVs. So when we try to convict someone of a crime, right, you got a couple of factors that, that go into it, um, and I forgot most of them. But one of them is opportunity, which I had. I had the opportunity to like change my all of my Pokemon stats at any point in time. And you have motive, right? And the motive's pretty clear too, right? Me winning an Emerald Kaizo run, pretty big, pretty huge. I had 30k viewers doing it. Pretty successful thing. I got, I, I got an article written about me, LSF, blah, blah, blah. And also, playing Emerald Kaizo, the early game, was really, really, really tedious. So I wouldn't have wanted to do it again. So it would be understandable that I would, that I would have a motive to do this, right? I don't want to fucking fight Roxanne again. Uh, so I had the means to with the uh, with the PK hex stuff. I had the opportunity to, um, and I have the the motive to. So let's engage our critical thinking brains a little bit. And think about what happened here. Because I can sit here all day long and tell you, nah, bruh, I didn't cheat. You just gotta trust me. And that's what it's gonna come down to. But you're gonna have to engage your critical thinking brain into thinking whether or not I would actually cheat in this run. And then upload my save file of the run to the fucking Discord. To, to make that clear, the Slowbro had legal stats, right? The, the stats that I caught it with could have been completely legal. But it is worth noting the damage that it took itself was more than it actually could have taken. So that Slowbro was undoubtedly physically defensive better than the one that was on screen when I caught it. So what happened here? If we go into the Emerald Kaizo damage calculator here, I want to introduce you guys to two key witnesses in this case. And witness number one is our good friend, Bartender the Ludicolo. 
So this Ludicolo has a special attack IV of 2. It's got an HP IV of 0. It's got a special defense IV of 5. It's got a bold nature, which is, you know, not super terrible, but you want special defense on Ludicolo. Ludicolo is one of the key members in most Emerald Kaizo game, uh, most Emerald Kaizo Elite 4 teams, such as just like Slowbro is. Ludicolo's stats are really, really important for the Glacia fight when it comes to doing damage to Lapras. This Ludicolo, and like, I can't retrace the exact stats that are necessary for a good Ludicolo in a Glacia fight, it's been really long, but everyone who plays Emerald Kaizo and who's done an Emerald Kaizo Elite 4 can att attest to this. This is a garbage looty. This is a sh tier looty, and the moment I caught it, I knew it would be on the Elite 4 team. So that's number one. Ludicolo's stats are arguably more important than Slowbro's stats. Because Slowbro just has to tank, can't get crit, just kind of heals up, PP stalls most things in the Elite 4. What's more important than even that, though, is key witness number two, which is Exorcist the Dusclops. This Dusclops has a timid nature. Why is this important? There's a couple of opportunities where Dusclops attacks attack matters, but there's one very specific one, and that's Drake's Latias. This Dusclops, with this attack stat, does not reliably kill Latias with Shadow Ball into Shadow Sneak. And if you miss this range, which is, it's, it starts at 90%, these are 10% that you have to make up for in rolls, you lose your run. This was super, 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 way more crucial than any slow bro ever. If I wanted to cheat in my Emerald Kaizo Nuzlocke, why the f would I keep this Dusclops around? That, because I know that, I've done the E4 calcs before. That would be so stupid. So, again, this comes down to critical thinking. If I saw, if, if I wanted to cheat you guys and I wanted to win this Emerald Kaizo run, I would have done so much more shit and I could have gotten away with it too. I could have just not uploaded the save file. The Dusclops didn't hit itself in confusion or anything. None of you fucking guys would have known. I would have just changed this timid nature. What happened then? What happened to the slow bro? There's some theories. My position, and this is bad, this doesn't make my case, but I got no fucking clue. <laughs> I can make some guesses. It's been like six months, it's been over six months. Let me introduce you guys to something. The only explanation that I can come up with personally for what the fuck happened, I use PK Hex a lot during these runs. Like, a lot, a lot. All sorts of sh Over thousands of hours of Pokemon, of, of, of Pokemon Emerald Kaizo played. There's one single button here in this, in this program, and it says randomize, and that randomizes the IVs of a Pokemon. I think what happened is at some point after catching the Slowpoke and looking at it in the PK Hex, I accidentally hit randomize. I misclicked. I fumbled something. That's what I think happened. It's possible. It's possible I just fucking cheated on this one Pokemon where it didn't actually really matter, and I just changed some IVs. If that means the run is invalid, I guess the run is invalid. Whether or not I cheated, whether or not I had the motive, means, and opportunity, I don't think that we can discuss that. Of course I did. But what actually happened, that's only up for you, for the viewer to decide, because you have no reason to believe me. Um, so make up your own mind. Tell me what you think in the YouTube comments. Give me some engagement. Um, and make sure to check out the Emerald Kaizo Wipe compilation video that's coming out in like about a month. It's going to be super hype. It's going to be one of the best videos on my channel. And after that will be the winning run 151 attempt video on the channel as well. That'll show the entire journey. For everyone else, I would invite you to touch some grass and uh, maybe a woman as well or a man, you know. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. That's what I have to say about this. It's ultimately up for you to decide what do you think happened. Ever since uh, this was brought to my attention and this happened, I've started auto-capturing PK Hex in my OBS. You will notice this when I'm streaming any other game. Ever since this happened, whenever I ho open PK Hex uh, on my computer, it automatically gets captured in OBS and is automatically... Like, you'll, you'll actually have those moments sometimes where the PKX is still on screen and I didn't, didn't even notice it because it gets automatically captured because I don't want shit like the, that to happen again. That's really stupid. Uh, I want my runs to be as legit as possible, right? Um, and I want to try as hard as possible. So if, the, if, if that was captured, if that moment were captured on PKX, we could have seen what actually happened. So we're doing that from now on. It's interesting that everyone's talking about my cheating allegations in Emerald Kaizen. Nobody's talking about the allegations that Rigorous showed cock and balls on stream. Nobody's really talking about that. That's kind of weird. Anyway... <laughs> the Nuzlocke Validation Council. 57 comments. Heh. <laughs>
Even the famous best Nuzlocker in the world has been taken down a peg. My mysterious organization, the NVC, has not deemed him worthy. That's the Nuzlocke Validation Council. <laughs> he will certainly lose subscriber now. Nothing personal, PC. Or should I say, Yan. You can't sweep Slowpoke Gate under the rug now. Nothing personal, kid. Mr. Riggers holds final authority on fact and logic. There has never been a more correct and perfect man than Reggie streamed cock and balls, Riggers. <laughs> These nuts holds final authority on facts and logic. How does your mother feel knowing you spend time online on a kid's gaming subreddit owned by a cheater spamming comments like these nuts hold the final- I can't even tell if this is- No, this has to be satire, right? I actually can't tell. It's Poe's law coming into effect. These nuts hold the final authority on logic. How does she feel when she realizes she could have had a doctor or an engineer child, but instead got a shit poster who uses Reddit of all places? My mother is proud. <laughs> There's a reason you use Reddit and because you have no friends. Get the stick out of your ass. <laughs> what the fuck happened in this thread? The NVC Never VGC Cock is an organization that disowns streamers and disqualifies every accomplishment by a Pokemon as luck if they break the golden rule, which is to never stoop so low as to resort to pleasuring VGC Cock. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the best thread in my subreddit of all time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You guys are actually so funny sometimes. <laughs> Unfortunately, Peachel fornicated with Wolfie VGC, and that was not a Nuzlocke achievement. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Didn't Wolfie VGC beat it? No, Wolfie VGC lacks the patriotism and cowboy boot-wearing ability required to beat EK. If he had a real name like Wolfie USA, he surely would have won. <laughs> Wolfie beats my cock, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whose alt account is this? <laughs> this is fucking so funny. As in he performs continuous motions <laughs> up and down the shaft of my penis. As in he spends hours a day around <laughs> And man children I'm not gay though that <laughs> sucks <so>. uh... <laughs> What changes he changed your mom into his wife <laughs> NVC <laughs> Bald Uh <laughs> Wait, Runabun's just trolling here, and people are like taking him seriously and downvoting him. This thread is a fucking disaster. Oh shit. Let's get into the Reddit review, boys. RP Chal TV. Hey, if you're not joining the subreddit yet, we have 12k members. Go make it 13k. It's a great place to post some memes about me and be cringe and uh, power your parasocial relationship. <clears throat> Congrats, Sion, for finally making it into a Jaden animations video. Yeah, we we all saw it. <laughs> it's, it's literally just a picture of a screenshot of the fucking. How is this the top upvoted post of the month? Why do I even do this shit, man? <sighs> yeah, I was in the Jane video. We all saw. Jesus Christ. Pokemon Challenges fans watching Jane's newest video. <laughs> Dude, the fucking Wojaks are so funny. Dude, I was gonna make fucking Pokemon versions of these as chatty modes, but I felt like they, they just wouldn't come out right. <laughs> this is people pointing at the slow bro IVs. <laughs> PC squashes beef with A Drive 2021 colorized. So I think A Drive made like a post about how he from, uh, from going forward he wanted to do A Drive locks instead of Nuzlocks where he just does a Nuzlocke but instead he chooses his encounters. Kind of like me when I uh, when I purposefully cheated those slow bro IVs and chose them. And I I just tweeted uh, yeah base that's cool. Uh, you should play your runs however you feel like because they're their uh, self-imposed rule sets. So I, I, I just thought that was based. I thought that was cool. And, and I kind of wanted to signal because the thing is, right? My voice cracks off and that's the thing. The thing is like, I have this community built around like these hardcore challenge rules. Um, and I really want to make sure that this community is never fucking assholey and gatekeepy. And that's why I post, make posts like this because I want to make sure that my community isn't known for, oh, he does these really hard rules, and then all his community is super, super shit because they always gatekeep 
uh, have other people play the game. I never want you guys to go into someone else's chat or someone else's YouTube comments and roast them for the rules that they're using. That was never my goal, and from like the start of my start of my content thing, I I set out to do that. So, yeah, based that he's doing that and cringe to anyone who's gatekeeping him. Although I didn't really see anyone. I think we've done a good job of controlling the narrative of uh, Nuzlocke's not being this, like, thing that we all need to get together and see if, if someone's doing the right rules or not. But that everyone can just play however they want. So, yeah, if I see any of you guys do this sh in, in, in other people's YouTube comments or Twitter replies or Twitch chats, I will uh, ban you from my community. <laughs> Wait, what is this Twitch chat comment? Mystic Umbreon is a filthy game freak boot liquor. <laughs> what, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> There's so much cringe in this. Nobody's talking about Mystic Umbreon right now. Nobody's talking about game freak boot licking. The term game freak boot licker is probably one of the cringiest shits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that might be the worst Twitch comment I've seen all day, and I've been defending myself from cheating allegations. Okay, risk it for the biscuit. What? Sorry for the brisket. It's because I... What? This is the fourth most upvoted post of the month in my subreddit. I don't even understand it. What? I don't think I've ever actually made brisket in my entire life. That's like not a cut of beef that you can buy in Germany. Jan, ice types are the worst Pokemon. Or are the worst type. Also, Jan. <laughs> This is a really good editing moment. Shout out ty to Tyrone in that video. That shit was, shit was fire. You can get brisket from Jewish places, right? Yeah. All those Jewish places that exist in Germany. <clears throat> anyway. Vintage white is an experience for sure. Chat. How do you prepare for a game where half the Pokemon have type changes? That's the neat part. You don't. I've, I've been really enjoying vintage white. Looking up the, 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 getting used to the new type changes and everything is a little bit more engaging to the brain when, when you're playing. You're not relying on like super age old game knowledge, but you have to like refresh it and kind of keep a lot of shit in mind, which is fun. Jan was very particular saying this. Jan the Alpha Red. Oh dear. Oh dear, gorgeous. Jan the Alpha Red's voice chat friends. You fucking donkey. Fun fact, I think the Brayden guy who lost Alpha Rad's Onyx reached out to me and wanted to do a soul link with me. So maybe, you know. Was re-watching the favorite Pokemon of each type videos. Start, does PC like the Pokemon? Yes. Based or you're a simp? True. No, does the Pokemon have a good design? No. Is the Pokemon good stat wise? Yes. This Pokemon looks so bad. True. By the way, uh, donate $20 to my stream and I'll roast your favorite Pokemon. Um, is the Pokemon good set wise? No, this Pokemon is so bad. And then if it's yeah, if it looks good and it's good set wise, it's a normally pick. True. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but as a German, this is so accurate. Um. So I think this is like a German singer. I'm not really sure. I understand the reference. I think they're saying that I have my German voice is a little bit higher than my English voice. Also, wenn ich so rede, geht glaube ich meine Intonation ein bisschen nach oben. Whereas if I talk like this, it goes down a little bit. I think that's what this meme is referring to. You miskabutin. The taste of best Nuzlockers these days. <laughs> Dude, this was such a based Spider-Man review. Didn't even see it, just hate seeing Marvel fans happy. Fucking true. Actually, I like seeing Marvel fans happy because I own Disney stock. What is this MF finger? <laughs> I showed this meme to my mom at Christmas and she thought it was really funny, so. Shout out to Real Time who made this meme. You made my mom laugh. Oh, sorry. There's a second half to this meme. Okay, so me making fun of Marvel fans, and then <laughs> listen, Mod is a really good character in My Little Pony. I love her. She's a great. She's a great written character. She's super funny. She's super cute. All right. I really like. I really like this character. Okay. I think she's really cool. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Also, yes, if you have bangs like this and your eyes look like this, DM me immediately, please. Please DM me immediately. Pokemon Challenge is not the best trainer dodge in the EU region. He's also the third best content milker. Babe, I need at least 50 more memes that aren't completely cringe and some artwork for the Reddit review. Yes, honey. I'm not going to lie, you guys. You guys didn't deliver today. You guys did not deliver. So yeah, like I said, make up your own mind, see what you think. Um, thanks for watching the video, I appreciate it, I suck at outros, so, goodbye.